Ida for telling my daughter she can't go to her dream school, but paying for my son to go to his. In 49 meters and I have two children, Jake, 23, and Nikki, 17. Their mother and I are divorced. I have full custody and she sends no support. Both of my kids are good kids and good students with good grades. Jake got into his dream school but didn't get any scholarships. His undergrad school is one of the best school in our part of the country and it's expensive. I didn't want him to take out loans and have to carry a debt, so I'm paying for his tuition and living expenses. The total cost is roughly $50,000 a year. Has following in our family tradition and pursuing a career in dentistry, I'm not a dentist, but we have about a dozen dentists and oral surgeons in our family. I will also be paying for his dentistry degree. While I know it will be costly, I view this as a good investment as hell have a starting salary of about 120,000 as a dentist in our area. If he decides to become an oral surgeon, his starting salary will almost double that figure. Nikki is a senior in HS. Like her brother, she's a good student and will have a good chance of getting into her dream school, but she has a low chance of getting any scholarships. Her dream school is also a very good one located in the middle of a very expensive city. Tuition and living expenses will be roughly 75,000 a year. The problem is that she's dreamt of being a teacher since she was little and have made it clear she will be an education major because she wants to be a middle school teacher. The other problem is that the salary for middle school teachers in our area is 48,000 to 60,000 in our area. I fully realize that she can move and work elsewhere, but I can't imagine there are many middle school teacher in the US making six figures. I don't view paying 300,000 plus for a career that tops out at 60,000 as a wise investment. I told my daughter that the state school that's two hours away have a good education program and her in-state tuition and living expenses will only be about 20,000 a year. I view paying 80,000 for a teaching degree as a much better investment. I've tried discussing the matter with Nikki, but she gets distraught every time I've brought it up. She cries and accuses me of favoring Jake and being a sexist which is not true. I told her, if she picks a major with a 100,000 starting salary, I'll gladly pay for her to go to her dream school, but there's no way I'm paying 300,000 for her to be a teacher. Now she's got family members involved. Some are staying out of it, some agree with me, and some are telling me not to play favorites. I thought I made it clear, but apparently I didn't. I'm not limiting Nick's education to 20,000 a year. I told her that's the max I'm willing to pay for her education degree. I'm more than happy to pay 75,000 a year if she picks another degree that will have a better return. For a while she thought about being a doctor and fell in love with England, we have family there, so I even offered to pay for her to go to Oxford which will be double the cost of her brother's tuition. But she's adamant about being a middle school teacher and I'm unwilling to spend 300,000 that I worked hard for on an education degree. Edit to add, Oxford is hard to get into, I know that she won't be able to just walk in. I meant for her to apply, and if she got in, I'm willing to pay the cost of that school and the expense of living in an expensive country if her degree earning potential warrants that cost. I brought it up because getting into dental schools and graduating is tough. The reason why we have so many in our family is because we help each other out. The dentists and oral surgeons in the family happily tutor and give valuable internship experiences that would otherwise not be available. People who pursued the dental career in our family have never failed because we don't allow them to fail. Last semester my brother spent weeks tutoring our niece to prepare her for her state board exam and she passed in one try. Why did I bring up the family tradition? Am I an elitist? Why does it matter? What do you think about it? Write your comments.